All right, guys, I'm uh, installing the stove here, the pipe, in the new place, the new location. This location is simply amazing. This is the view I will have, and this is how this tin will look. And yeah, behind this is like a, a office, but uh, it's not active anymore. It's office of the forest, and then you have the mountains. So the new spot is amazing, and uh, I'm going to spend some amazing time here. Hopefully there will be no wind. But you have to stay strong. What the most important thing in an adventure is the mental, the mental part. Can you hold the pressure? Can you hold when the wind, when everything goes down, like the tent? Can you hold it? And yeah, I did, you know, and that's an example once again that you have to keep pushing, keep believing your projects, uh, don't give up. Alright guys, night is falling. I just uh, put fire in the stove and uh, yeah, so today there was so much wind the other place so we decided this guy knew another place and this is absolutely amazing. The nature over here is simply crazy. So I like this place a lot. It's more calm. There's less wind as you can see and yeah, there's a lot, but right now there's like this shed, like there's the cloud in the sky so you can't see nothing. But yeah, night is coming and uh, it's been a good day. Um, looking forward for the next days, of course. Alright guys, I slept well tonight, I'm going to pick up some wood and uh, yeah, it's been a great night, it's been raining the whole night, everything is uh, wet, but uh, inside is good. And uh, uh, it's good to walk barefooted here because you really feel the sensation of the forest and you, um, you connect with nature, so that's why I'm walking barefooted, I'm going to, to take a tree. Are you ready? 
Oh shit. That's not so good. <laughs> Right now I'm just chopping a bit of wood. It's beginning to snow here. <laughs> it's beginning to snow. The landscape is completely changing. I wouldn't say it's hot. Of course, it's freezing right now since it's snowing, but it's all right. I will put it down here. In the snowy Pyrenees, I walked nearly naked, just in my underwear. The cold felt exciting, a way to break free from rules. Every step on the pure snow was thrilling, defying what others thought. It was like bonding with nature, feeling so free and alive without any limits. I feel so much alive! Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> Let's go guys! Let's go! Guys, let's do it. This is the tough part of making a fire. It's uh, when everything is cold and humid. Let's see where we can go with this. Doesn't work. Doesn't work so well. Why doesn't it burn? Well guys, I'm trying to turn on the fire, but the, the um, fire, whatever it's called, it doesn't work. And I'm, uh, my feet are cold. So I don't know, I think I'll try to see if I can find somebody, but there are nobody here, you know, in the middle. So I will see, because my feet are getting really cold and I, it would be nice to start a fire. So, yeah.
All right. On the menu, we got these are leftovers. Cheese. I will just put it directly on it. Potatoes. And meat. And I've got a lot of that. They had a lot of leftovers, so that's nice. I put it uh, on each cheese. I put some uh, some yeah some meat, and then this, and then this. There we go. Mm. Guys, this is so fuck. This is really good. This is so good, guys. Oh my days. If you like this episode of me alone in the Pyrenees, you can like and subscribe. It supports my project a lot and I have a lot of them. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh my gosh, bro.